Good morning. It is Monday, Memorial Day. Um, today kind of marks the beginning of a new era. We've been using this as our cabin up north for about four years now, and it served its purpose. It's kind of ugly on the outside, but it's it's nice enough on the inside. It's you know stays dry, holds in heat a little bit, and then um, of course I got a little wood burner in there, so like we're cozy on cold nights. Um, this is our land up north. This is my dad's cabin. We got this guy also retrofitted with a wood burner. Um, we have yet to build our primary power plant, but we got a single 50 watt solar panel on top of that, two deep cells inside, a small inverter, and the whole thing is, you know, wired with switches and outlets. Um, it's locked up and he's gone for the weekend, so I'm not going to go in there, but this was our project for yesterday. Um, we built this tower about a week ago and yesterday we <sighs> with a, a dual pump system we managed to get water out of the river which is approximately 475 feet that way um, using a sump pump at the river with a generator and then using uh, drill pump at the peak of the hill that goes down there's a pathway that goes down and it's probably you know between here and river level is probably about you know good 30 feet uh, of lift so it took quite a bit to uh, get the water in there but after an hour's work we did manage to get uh, about 100 gallons in her. Um, and then we got a, just a siphon gravity feed run to the sink. Not super high flow yet, but we had to, we didn't have all the right parts for it. The line all the way at the top there going in is really small. Um, so it's pretty low flow for now. Um, but <clears throat> yesterday was basically just a test to see if we could get water in. Um, we'll end up draining this, uh, and, you know, whatever, uh, kind of just rinsing it out. Um, but then we're for, cause there's another cabin over there, my dad's and mine, uh, I'm going to begin construction on this year. We'll be... There's a pathway back that way. Um, this will we'll use this for our water pressure. This will get water to all of our cabins. Then we can use booster pumps, whatever uh, from there. But uh, we'll have inline sediment filters um, to clean up the water and stuff. And we do plan on pounding a well right here. We witched this whole area and there's a crack in the bedrock right on from that stake right along going that way kind of towards that pine tree um, this whole area the witch was going crazy so we know there's water and it went the craziest right there so that's why we built the tower there we're gonna pound in a sand point there hopefully we don't have to go more than you know 20 30 feet but um, until then, we can use the two-pump system to uh, get it from the river into the tower, just so we have, you know, running water. Otherwise, we're, we're transporting it in from, uh, there's a camp station in town that's got a artesian well and stuff, but it's a lot of work to transport water, so... Um, yeah, I can just kind of show you the property a little bit. It's 
gorgeous little hunk of land. I'll show you my building spot briefly. We did bring another barrel just in case we had to do like a two barrel system. Pump it to that one and then pump it from that one into the tower. We managed to get water all the way down the hose which was kind of amazing because yeah like I said it's 475 feet of hose from the river. This is where the camper used to be. Uh, that was its home for you know, almost five years or so. I've begun clearing in here. I'm going to need a machine to kind of flatten this out, do something with these stumps. I've been slowly burning them out. Ugh, excuse me, burning them out. Um, I'm going to do storage containers. Um, level this out, build a footing, and... Uh, up with block a little bit so I can crawl space underneath. Lay down some rubber, keep moisture from wicking up. But uh, essentially, I would like to have a 40 foot storage container right here and another 20 parallel with it, connected. Cut the walls out between them so I have a big open area, uh, dining, whatever living area in that space uh, master bedroom would be this half of the 40 footer and then another 20 footer up on top of those going the opposite way and that would be a uh, bedroom for the girls with a spiral staircase or something uh, minimal footprint going up to them uh, wood burner in the middle of it blowing heat both ways you know obviously cut windows and doors and finish it off nice but uh, it doesn't have to be huge it's got to be it's got to be you know weatherproof and just enough space for so we can all have a little privacy but you know it's beautiful land just through there i don't know if you'll be able to see it Right there is the river. Um, you can't see it from here, but you can hear it. So this is this is what I want to be our our spot. Sounds like my brother woke up. I hear dogs barking. But anyhow, there's going to be all kinds of projects going on up here. This is the idea is to, you know, start start thinking about moving this way. So we're going to have a, a central power unit similar to that one I did videos back. Uh, wind turbine trees are about 30 feet here, so I'm going to have to get it above them. I'll go 50 foot here with the turbine straight up in the air with the 500 watt turbine and build an array south is about yay or so so we'll get a good pass from the sun if we just plop it right in the middle of this open space that's the neighbors over there by the cut grass I don't know whatever <sighs> Garden projects, we're probably going to build a greenhouse, try and keep the critters out of the gardens. Um, and yeah, do a central power station to feed power to all of our spots instead of having three independent systems. We'll just stack up one big battery bank, one big solar array and the turbine and that ought to feed all of us just fine. Because, you know, we're living on minimal up here because that's the way we like it. So, anyhow, just thought I'd show you a quick glimpse of our little slice of heaven up north. But, uh, light off some fireworks, grill up some steaks, and enjoy the Memorial Day. Thank the veteran for... He 
your freedom if you see one. Thanks for watching. God bless you.